so much. This is more money than I probably ever made in my in my entire past six years combined. Like it was. Come on, Milo, ball pack me. <laughs> but I've decided to bring th bring some things in for show and tell. Okay. Oh, oh I great, love, great, this. Great, great. So love this. So in the in, in the old days, right? Uh, you would you would have a TV, right? And you'd have that as a regular TV, not as a monitor typically connected to your console, right? You'd just have it in like the family room or whatever. And they had different outputs. So you couldn't just like bosh an HDMI into your recording device and be easy peasy lemon squeezy recording your video games. You couldn't do that. You needed this thing, okay? Ah. Oh my God, yes. So this is, this is a classic. It will focus in a moment, I'm sure. There we go. It's hey. a Hoppage HD PVR is the name. Uh, and you would record out of these absolute ah, forest of cable yes. entries here, all of these things. So you'd have a massive load of cables coming out of that, going into your into your, uh, into your your TV, and then your, your console would plug in there as well. And it was a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. There were <laughs> there were so many issues with these, these things. And to, to, to loop back to the story I was telling, I was in my English class, and my mate had got one of these. Um, these at the time were like 160 quid or something like that. And for a 14 year old, that was an unattainable amount of money. It was just it was too much, right? Yeah. So uh, you could never do that many paper rounds. Exactly. That was impossible. Yeah. And you could impossible. not sell that many Mars bars and Snickers on the yeah. playground either. You know? <laughs> for, 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 for me, it was uh, in school, they always used to sell LucasAid and, and uh, uh, like Cadbury's like chocolate bars as well, the big ones. Yeah. Um, they'd open yeah. their backpack. It'd be we had some full on like tuck shop entrepreneurs oh, yeah. in my school. Yeah, same. Like who would buy who would buy in product? Don't go to the tuck shop. See those? Don't, don't see the girls in the tuck shop. Come and see yep. me. Backpack. Open up calypsos. Oh, they had it all. Like refresher bars. Like you know, iron brew bars. You name yep. it. Rainbow drops. This guy had it all. Unbelievable. Yeah. See, some people at school hustled. Then you had, you had people like Savu just you know robbed it from uh, <laughs> foreign exchange students. Stole those it are from two them. types. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, basically, I I, I, I saw my, my mate got one of these, and I didn't really even know it was a thing at the time, uh, but I uh, started saving up, and I think that, yeah, that must have been in year eight, and I saved up for basically a year, right, to get this thing, and after an entire year, I bought it, I was ecstatic, jubilant, plugged it in, and uh, my game, I think I was playing maybe maybe Modern Warfare 2 at the time, maybe. Um, I plugged it in. It wasn't your first video was... Was Modern Warfare My 2 first video, video on this channel was Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, yeah. There's demolition there's, on rundown. I think it might. That's have been. the first commentary. Yeah, there were there were a handful before that that were like original Apple. Uh, what's the word? Like um, movie maker. Like those sorts of like transitions and stuff. Like yeah, yeah, showing yeah. glitches and things like that. But. Um, yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was Modern Warfare 2. But when I plugged this thing in, my screen went black and white. It inverted, so it was upside down. I couldn't use it. So I then had to save up for like another six months or no. something to get a monitor that would work with the oh right cables. Oh, God. Um, Mate, commitment. But, uh, that's, um, that's insane. Like they, they, I mean, that, yeah. already then you can see that in early age, you were so dedicated to, to making something that you were like, right, I've got to save up again. Get the it monitor. That's a kid with a dream. Yeah. Kid with a dream. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and a lot of people at the time had dazzles. Uh, so uh, Dazzles were like a teardrop sort of shape other capture card that was much cheaper like more like 30 quid or something but for mm -hmm. some reason I think I basically fell into the fallacy of I need the best equipment otherwise I won't like be the best creator sort of thing which is not actually yeah, yeah. true but uh, I just was so set on getting the best one because this was the only one that you could get in HD Dazzles only recorded in what like 480p whereas this was 720 and 1080 I think so that's why yeah. it was so much more expensive. So this was this was prior to the days of well, at the very beginning here yeah. of having YouTube on mobile phones and stuff as well, wasn't it? YouTube was on your computer. Yes, you would you would log in and, and, and you would you would watch that way, which me makes it even more impressive that you were able to build a fo like, It's a lot easier to build a following on YouTube, but maybe not because it's a more oversaturated market now. But at the same time, it's not as it wasn't as accessible to find your content back then if you didn't have the right equipment, right? Yeah, I, I think. In the in the real early days, there was there was definitely a there were a handful of people that were making content. And what's actually really interesting is that as that's as that's happened, that that curve of mobile adoption, and I've seen it over the years, and it's been a really important thing to track over the years because at one point you weren't paid for ads on mobile. Uh, that just mm. didn't happen. So any views you like lost to mobile audience members were basically dead views in terms of how That's much you'd be crazy. earning. That's crazy. Yeah, so that was, That's it nice was like, man. for a long time, it was like, oh, I don't want any more mobile views. Whereas now it's like, well, it, it's, I mean, it's fine. It's just a different yeah. platform. It's not a problem. But yeah. 
yeah, there was a handful of people that were doing it back in the original days. Uh, and odd, and I, I talk about this, I was talking about this with some creator friends even this week, is that so many of those original creators are still in the game today doing other things. I mean, PewDiePie was making Black mm. Ops 1 videos. Like, and you do not think yeah. of PewDiePie as a COD creator, but he was. And so was, like, so many of the biggest channels right now started with Call of Duty in some way, shape, or form. Because it, it was just like, I don't know, like a like an incubator for for that early wave of creators, really, was, was what the game provided by having mass appeal and having an audience before 95% of other stuff did. The thing that I always find interesting is what was that moment that you were making videos when you suddenly were like, A oh, this is actually making money. Mm -hmm. And B, this could be a thing that I do full time. Because I, I know, and then this is why I love you, Mar Marlo, because not only have you been doing zombies content, creating this massive channel, you've been studying for a physics degree. Yes. And knocked out of the park at the same time, which I think is absolute madness. Yeah. And GG you, man, crazy. The, uh, the bags under my eyes are there for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are battle scars. Um, I, yeah, so I guess the thing people... The thing people gloss over that I think is really important to mention before we get to the like, oh my God, I'm like finding some actual success with my channel now is mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't monetizing for three years. Uh, when I was monetizing, I was with Machinima and it was a bit of a joke and I was basically still not monetizing for another give or take three years. So I'm six years deep into the game at this point. It's 2015. I've been making, making content near daily for that entire time and haven't really uh like th 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 there's 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 not really been any respite because i've had school going on i've been doing my gcses and my a levels and it took six years before anything really picked up and i i, I built up like a hundred ish thousand subscribers uh over those six years but a lot of them were not watching my content so i might post a video and get 1000 to 5000 views kind of thing like early 2015 something clicked that year I went to uni, I started uni with 120k subs, uh, and one year later, I was at, like, closing in on a million. I think I was, uh, like, if I re remember Jesus. correctly, uh, I did, like, a, a Google growth program thing that they did at the YouTube space, and I believe the stat, I could be wrong on this, but I believe the stat they gave was I was a top 100 uh, channel in the UK for number of subscri subscribers growth that year. Like, I was just really really growing so much i was sitting in the library at about midnight uh doing lab work for a hand in the next day i'd been doing it literally all day long and i got an email on my phone and it was my youtube payment for november uh, i think maybe november or december and i looked at it and i was like oh my god this is this is so much this is more money than i probably ever made in my in my entire past six years combined like it was come on my little ball pack me <laughs> um, I mean, so uh, the, 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 the amount of the time, I'm trying to think of how to, how to ballpark this. How to word this without sounding like Mr. Money Come on, come on, Marlon. Okay, what, I will give you one caveat. I will give okay, you one caveat. Okay. The, the, the thing with me is, so I grew up without having any money at all, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and even now I'm still absurdly frugal. Um, it's just something I grew up with and I don't think I'll ever outgrow it. So like we call it tight up north. Yeah, I'm 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 a I'm a tight bugger. I really am. And uh, <laughs> like I, 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 I try not to be, but it's just it's just the way I am. I'm a I'm a I'm a bit of a sort of penny pincher in that way, just purely from my childhood. And so I think it was like that 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 payment was was twenty k split in two. I think was what I got in, in that for a from, month from from, from that month. one month. Wow. And I was just like, I I I'd probably made about a grand over the past six years, and then. Mm. It was, and then that comes geez. through. Yeah, and it was just like, unbelievable.